Hey, uh, this is Michael with uh, DigitalTShirtShop.com. So I've been, I, I told you before we had gotten the uh, approval to sell on Amazon and we got the um, uh, brand registry and we got the uh, approval to sell in clothing and we got the uh, ability to sell without uh, UPC. So we had jumped through all those hoops, Amazon, and then they blocked our ASINs and now they've let us start adding ASINs. So I've been going and cleaning everything up. So here's an example of how I'm listing my products on Amazon. So what I have here, this so I've cleaned up this spreadsheet and I've gone and I've been able to successfully upload a product. Um, so basically what I do is I come in and I create uh, I have some basic information I can manipulate here based on shirt colors and prices and different things like that. Uh, unique uh, manufacturer numbers for each style of shirt. So I have men's, women's, boys, girls, baby boys, and baby girls. So baby boys and baby girls is where I'm selling my uh, infant and toddler sizes, keywords, description, um, and, and all of these things kind of bleed into the spreadsheet. So every time I list here, I'm going to be listing. Uh, so I've got three lines at the top. So down here at the bottom, minus three lines, 192 lines. Now, as I've been thinking about it, I've been pro as, as I've had other products listed on Amazon, I've been really quite surprised at how many tie dye shirts I sell. And so uh, I can only buy tie-dyes in men's and women's and boys and girls. I can't buy them in infant toddler sizes. Um, and so I'm really considering about maybe going and adding uh, those three colors, the gold, the pink, and the royal blue tie-dye colors uh, to be able to sell those as well. Um, it's a higher price item. The, the cost on the shirts is a lot more. Each shirt, whether it's a, a men's uh, or, or a ch children's, uh, it, it costs me $5 a shirt. Um, now, I mean, with this, uh, typically I've sold the children's shirts for $15.99. I've sold the men's and women's for $19.99. Now, I can't get these in a men's or a women's. It's, to, it's actually just a men's shirt, but I do list it one as a men's, one as a woman's, and then in the details I specify that it's a uni, unisex shirt, uh, standard t-shirt unisex, uh, even though it's listing under women's. But I list it under women's just so women will find it. Um, and then so, I don't know, I, I, I probably will stick with the $15.99. Typically people want a youth shirt less than an adult shirt, even though... But where I have issues with this is if, uh, you know, we mess up on a shirt, that's $5 we're out. If we uh, have to reship a different size to a customer, that's another $5. You know, so like if I have, a, if I have an issue with a T-shirt, oftentimes I don't mind replacing it. I sell the shirt for $14.99. They pay $3 freight. Um, you know, my total cost on that's about 5 bucks between shipping it and the, the product itself. Uh, you know, and I'm collecting about $18 from them. If they have a problem, oftentimes I'll just ship them a new shirt and a new style, a uh, new color, whatever it is, new size, whatever it is. Um, and I, I'm, I've still made money on the transaction. When I start to do that with uh, the tie-dye shirts, because of the cost of the shirts, if I drop the price of those youth shirts too much, it ends up not being quite as good a deal. Oftentimes I can break even. Um, or, or more, it's more of a break-even type uh, scenario. Or you know, I I would prefer to have a little bit larger profit margin than that. Um, so, anyways, uh, basically, I fill this stuff out, and then it goes ahead and it populates everything up here based on. So it'll go ahead and give every size, shirt, and color. So it, 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 you have to classify everything a certain way. So I have a parent SKU, and then I have children SKUs based on every size and color. So these are the white shirts, the aqua blue shirts, the heather gray shirts, candy pink shirts. It'll populate um, uh, the description. I've gone ahead and I've added 
to where it's actually pulling all that information from down below, as well as adding a few things like the size. Um, and then, um, you know, uh, you know, you have to give it a, a path for the, for the, um, what am I trying to say for the uh, image as well. And I do the same thing with that. So I've got a standard place where it goes and it pulls the image from off of another website. I try to format it all the same way so that I can easily duplicate this uh, within this spreadsheet. So I can just dump the images in there. It'll auto populate uh, what the image should be and what the image name should be in the image color and and all of that. So um, as I was doing this, man, I was having uh, quite a few problems with the spreadsheet. Uh, Amazon's wanting you to have a color map that maps standard colors that they have. And then you can go in and actually give a, a color name, uh, which is what I have over here. And then they did the same thing with sizes where they want a map size. And so, for example, down here on the baby t-shirts, I had to give map size, standard map sizes that they have, and then turn around and on my end, uh, give it the sizes that I want it to show as the six month, 12 month, 18 month uh, type thing. So, um, you know, so basically that's what I did. And then basically you go into Amazon and Amazon will uh you know at first i went in and i did the check file and that it came back as though there weren't any problems and then when i went so this uh i want to say it was this one right here that i did and then i went and uploaded it and found out there were file there were problems uh and then i had to go and a couple of times trying to figure out what it was that i had forgotten and actually you know so it goes through and it shows you actually what you did wrong and what you did right so these so i did the men's the boys and the girls they worked the women's didn't for some reason the first time the women's didn't work was because i had a, a under price i had a zero right here on the parent and for whatever reason i had a zero so the parent wouldn't show up but all the sizes would show up well because the parent wasn't there it listed all the sizes as individual products, not grouping them together under one product with a drop down box where you can pick the size. Um, and that was all because I had a zero right there. Now, these over here with the boys and the girls, the problem that I, that I had was that for some reason, as you start looking through all this stuff, and it's just easy to forget a field, um, there's a style field right in here somewhere so i don't know where that's at just come up here and see if it shows where style is that's not showing up for whatever reason um so you have your skew here, and then you have a style skew elsewhere. Oh, it's got to be, no, well, that's not it. Maybe it's got to be this column, right? No, that's not, that's a parent skew. Anyways, there's, oh, here it is right here, uh, column X. So, and I don't have this saved, so it's not letting me actually, I don't know what the deal is, it's not letting me actually save it. But anyways, highlight it the same way. But under column X, there's a style number, and apparently on the style number, I did it on the women's shirts, but I forgot it on the youth shirts. And you can see how the text uh, just continues across the columns that, you know, it's easy to kind of miss something like that. Well, that right there was what was preventing me from doing those uploads. So anyhow, so I got it fixed, um, and I got my template fixed, and now the last shirt that I went to upload, I got... 192 out of 192 successful they all showed up and this is my surfboard design um, so if I go to Amazon and I look up um, Aloha surf 
over t-shirt. Um, oh, there's one of my others. This palm tree surfboard is what I just uploaded right here. So you can go in there. Now you can see it's not showing the images yet. It takes Amazon some time to upload all the images. And so probably but you know, in the next hour or two, this image will show up. These little thumbnail images will show up. Uh, but you, you know, when you upload these to Amazon, you don't really worry about, you know, that they don't show up right away. That Amazon does go out to my other website. It will pull all the images and cache the images on Amazon's site, save the images on Amazon's site. Um, and it just takes it just takes a little bit of time, but they will show up here sooner or later. So, uh, but anyway, so that's that. So that was the girls right there, and you can see the product options work: extra small through extra large. Uh, we have the baby girls right here, and that should show six month, uh, six month, twelve month, eighteen month, two t, three t, uh, as well as the colors. Um, and then I should have uh, baby boys, men's, and women. So here's the men's, here's the baby boys, baby girls, girls. And then there should be women's, which is probably this one right here. And boys, boys, and men's, it's, God, there's so many of them, it gets confusing. Men's, women's, boys, girls, baby boys, baby girls. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different listings between here and and there so and they are all there so uh, i know they showed up i know they worked uh so my amazon upload worked my template works uh and so now i can easily start just uploading items i have i i, I know in a previous post i said i was doing three at a time i've kind of simplified this down to one at a time for now um you know, and, and that'll be fine. I've got about 40 shirts to do and it's not that bad. So basically what I do is, is when I get this ready, I copy the line items. Uh, so I'll copy from right here up to the top. Um, and then what I'll do is I go into another spreadsheet and I paste because it has a lot of codes in it, you know, where I'm referencing different cells. I'll go and I'll paste it as a, as a text, text and numbers, um, uh, you know, so that gets rid of all the formulas and then turn around and in this case, I'm saving it as an Excel file uh, and then uploading that Excel file to Amazon. So, but anyhow, that's how I did it. Uh, and, you know, so if you have any questions or whatever, I guess you could comment. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe I'll see if I can get this template uploaded uh, as, you know, that people can use it on um, uh, my digital t shirt shop.blogspot.com blog, uh, you know, and, and, you know, I don't mind people using it. And, and, you know, you obviously would have to modify it for your own use, but, um, you know, but it would give you an idea of how I made it work for me and made it easy to, you know, for me to upload uh, multiple variables of, of products uh, at one time pretty easily. So uh, there you go.